I'm Deborah. Welcome to Moggy Box Craft and welcome to my garden. So it's the 13th of April 2020 and I thought it was time for a bit of an update of what's happening in the garden. We'll start in the greenhouse. This is how the greenhouse is all shaping up. The peas and the dammy soybean have been eaten pretty badly. So these are the seeds I had planted. Although looking at the back, it does say so by the end of 2019. So instead planted a few of these. So we'll see how they get on and hopefully they'll be a bit more successful if they grow. I have planted a few more dammy soybeans in here. The mushy peas are doing pretty good. A few other changes in the greenhouse. Let's start down here, shall we? So I have planted some Hungarian black chilies here and some Thai chilies. I was growing both of these on my kitchen windowsill. I don't think I showed you those before. So they're planted in there now. Cayenne chilies and jalapeno chilies here. I'd also planted some lettuce. So we've got some iceberg lettuce in this one. Asparagus in here now. Sweet corn at the back, butternut squash, aubergine, money makers, cherry tomatoes, sun gold. Those three are all tomato varieties. And then we've got some little gem lettuce here, some spinach, some sweet pepper F1, I don't know, red skins I think they are. And then we've got pepper F1 salad festival. Yeah, unfortunately, there's the melon. I've had zero growth in the melon. And the sweet pepper blocky mix hasn't grown at all. I'll just leave them in the propagator and hope they come on a bit, but not leaving out a whole load of hope for that. Close up the greenhouse and we'll head outside. The cherry tree up here is really starting to sprout. I can't wait to see the cherry tree come to life. Overhead here we've got what we call a red red dead. <laughs> Looks dead for ages and then springs to life. Roses are looking nice. They're starting to come back. Yes we've got a blackberry red currant and that little one in the corner there is a raspberry. So they're looking nice. In here we've got the Shiraz Monge too in there. French beans in here. Blueberry. Apple tree. Starting to get a few flowers on that. Pear tree. Got some lovely blooms this year. This is a bramble. That was really lovely last year. Starting to come to life here as well. And the black currants at the bottom there. I'm not sure there's much improvement with the grass at the moment. I mean, the grass certainly looks lusher, but it's still really patchy in places. Grass seed is starting to split, but I think it'll take a little while longer to come good. First bed, we've got garlic, and at the back there are potatoes. So potatoes are starting to spring through. Next bed, we've got our courgettes in here. I've popped the box on top of where the beetroot is. Set onions in here. So again, set onions are starting to come through. And here we've got carrots, nothing as yet. And then of course we've got parsnip in here. We won't see anything just yet. I found another packet of parsnips, so I've popped them in as well. And the Brussels sprouts. So there's a few okay in there. I did find, I did actually plant a few more in there as well. So yeah, we'll wait and see what happens with them. Got a rhubarb down here. I planted this gala apple tree. And it's starting to, the gala apple tree is starting to bloom as well. So, I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, as you can see, the grass is still got a lot to go. Pumpkins doing okay down there. Doing okay in there as well. Oh yeah, pumpkins are doing not too bad in here so far. So that's the garden update for today. I will check in again in a week or two. It's the 21st of April 2020 and it's a garden update for you guys. But first, we're going to check on how the poppies are doing in the fridge at the back there. How are they looking? I think they are germinating. Do I, keep, do I take them out now? I've got something. A tiny little one there. There's a tiny little stalk right there. I think I'm going to take these guys out of the fridge now because they have been in just over three weeks. I don't even know if that is a Himalayan poppy right there, but I guess we'll wait and see. So I think I'll leave the Himalayan poppies out of the fridge now and see how they get on. I'm just pop them on the windowsill. Onto the garden. Everything in the garden is starting to bloom really nicely. So all these leaves are coming out now. So let's start with the greenhouse. Here's how the greenhouse is looking. So let's start down here. So we've got peppers in here. I've lost one there. More peppers here. I think a few have been eaten, but they are starting to get new seeds. So I'm not just too worried about that right now. Spinach in here. Lettuce, that's doing okay. These three here are all tomatoes. And we've got the aubergines. They're coming on good. Butternut squash. And up at the back here, we've got sweet corn. So I came in the other day and realized 
we're missing one from here and here. So I think that might have been the mice, unfortunately. Asparagus is doing okay at the moment. I've completely lost all the iceberg lettuce. <laughs> Jalapeno chilies have all have all disappeared and been eaten, whether that's slugs or whatever. One can chilli. So these are Thai chilies that I grew from food waste. I'm hoping they'll come on. This is the Hungarian black chilli. So I did grow these from peppers from that plant from last year. Mushy peas are doing okay. Adami soybeans and peas. Well, I've still not had any extra growth from them. In here, all the extra little flower plants have grown on really well. Everything apart from the hollyhock, he died. There's not much from the passion flower. Um, nothing's happening with the melon plant or this sweet pepper. Flower mix is doing okay so far, so that's fine. Let's move on to outside. Join me in the garden. We've got others. If I can see you, they're hiding behind <laughs> the post. Hello. Hello. What are you saying? We've got others. Ooh, I'll see them in a minute. First, I'm going to show you guys the raised beds. Potatoes are looking pretty good. Got a few up around here. A few bits coming through there. Garlic's looking okay. And we've got, we're set onions in here. Under here is the beetroot. I don't think I see, oh there maybe is a few things growing in there, not that you can really see them right now. Courgettes in here. They're going like crazy. I must need, um, I really need to get in here and do some weeding. But courgettes are coming on really well. In here we've got carrots. I don't think we've got anything. I don't think I really see any carrots as yet in here. Never mind. Parsnips. Nothing crazy going on in here. And Brussels sprouts. We've got a few growing. Don't know if that'll really come to anything, but we'll see how that goes. And everything down here is looking pretty good as well. Hopefully we'll get a good few berries and currants and brambles and things this year as well. So that's a blackberry. Red currant is looking amazing. Should get loads of red currants this year. Raspberry down there. He's slowly coming back to life. I didn't think he was gonna survive. Apple tree is starting to flower. And so is the pear tree. Hopefully we'll get a few pears this year. And we've got our bramble in here. He's looking really good. He's exploding. And then we've got his black currants down the bottom here. Hoping we'll get something on them this year. So yes, and apparently we've got olives, have we? Oh, wow. We have got an olive. Oh yeah, definitely getting olives in there. That's fantastic. French bean is doing okay, I think. So is the Shiraz Monge too in there. And then here we've got some blueberries and they're all flowering really nicely. We've also got another blueberry down here. Oh, blueberry here is starting to flower too. Down these little pots are not doing so great. I think I let them dry out too much. It's been really lovely weather. Yeah, I don't know if these pumpkins are surviving or not. Or these ones, I think they've both had it. So I'll replace these with flowers if I need to. A few flowers kind of starting to grow in here. And there is a few flowers starting to grow in here. I mean, it might just be weeds, but I think there's a, a few things definitely growing in there. So we'll see how that gets on. We've got one rhubarb plant down there. And then this apple tree. The apple tree is starting to come to life. So yeah, I'm really pleased that he's taken. So I did try to fix our grass and I thought it hadn't worked at all, but I have just noticed. Can you start to see the little little tiny grass coming through. This is excellent. This is how our grass is looking. I mean it obviously has gone wild in, in certain places. It really needs a cut but I don't want to cut it until the grass seed gets a chance just to really stay in there. Even up here where our fire pit is, I think you can start to see the new grass coming through. So I'm really hopeful and my hanging pots I think I've definitely killed. I think I planted everything in the hanging baskets a little bit too soon but never mind. <laughs> I will replace the jalapeno chilies and the lettuce I've lost and anything else I lose I'll have a think about that but I can replace it with. In a week's time I shall update you again. So for another week that is my garden update. So it's nearly the end of April. It's the 29th of April actually. This is my last garden update for April but we've got quite a lot to do today. So first I wanted to show you the Himalayan poppies. There is a few of the Himalayan poppy seedlings growing in this one. The little seedling that was growing in here has completely disappeared and there seems to be no hope in this one. They can continue to live on the windowsill and we'll head on to the rest of the garden. Cherry tree is really coming to life now. So we've got lots of flowers on the cherry tree this year. 
loads of cherry blossom flowers. The rest of the garden is looking lovely. This red tree seems to be in full bloom now. And yes, yeah, so that's my deck chair of where I've been sitting eating my morning coffee or my lunch. <laughs> First up the greenhouse. So here's how everything's looking. The F1 Pepper Salad Festival. They're looking okay. I've lost one here, but they're still just really little in here. The Sweet Pepper Red Skins. They're starting to grow, although I did lose a few. Spinach is looking really good. Little Gem Lettuce. And the next three in here are all tomatoes. So we've got Sun Gold F1, Cherry Tomatoes, Money Maker, and we've got the Aubergines. They seem to be doing okay. Butternut squash. The real leaves seem to be kind of coming through now. Up the back here we've got sweet corn. I definitely think they might have been at it. This sweet corn had been pulled out the other day so I've popped them back in. But the only ones we're still missing is the one there and there. But I won't be replacing them. The asparagus seems to be growing really well. So I need to replace the iceberg lettuce. I've also lost the canned chilies and the jalapeno chilies, so they need to be replaced as well. Thai chilies have been eaten. Don't know what's going on there. But these guys, I think, are doing. I think these guys are okay. The Hungarian black chili. So we're hoping that'll be okay. A little update on the peas and the dammy soybeans. So I did plant a different variety, so they seem to be coming through really well. I planted more adami soybeans. And finally, I can start to see one coming through there. Propagators. I'm going to repot all these flowers. These guys seem to be doing okay as well. So I might repot some of these where the pumpkins were. Obviously this guy can go because he's never grown anything. And I've 110% and I've given up with the melon as well. He's, he can go today as well. Pop that lid back on there for right now. Head out into the garden. Potatoes are looking good. Garlic. Still growing well. Set onions. My mesh box protector. I might take that off the beetroot today because I can start to see little seedlings coming through but I've just been trying to protect them from the birds. Courgettes are still looking really good. They definitely need to be weeded today. And here's the carrots. Oh, this needs to be weeded out because this is definitely not carrot. I think that could be a tiny carrot seedling because that would come through here. I've had the problems with the birds this year. Down here digging for worms I think and the parsnips and their Brussels sprouts still aren't doing a whole lot although it's looking okay the pumpkins in here and in here haven't fared very well I'm gonna leave these guys and give them a bit of a chance apple tree is nearly in full bloom I love the flowers on this apple tree the pear tree is getting a lot greener oh I really hope we're gonna get pears definitely a whole lot of hope right there so today I'm going to try and cut the grass as well for the first time. This is all definitely starting to grow in a lot better now, but I really think I just need to give it a cut back now. It's still patchy, especially this bit here. <laughs> you can definitely see all the new grass growing through now. Up here it's a little bit slower, but I think this is the darkest area of the garden. Down by the fire pit's growing in as well. I see a little bit of new growth in here. So first thing I'm going to do is get the grass cut. And I'm going to cut it on the highest setting, like... I'm going to cut it on the... the setting that keeps the grass the tallest. Does that make sense? <laughs> grass is cut, time to do some weeding. Weeding's done. There's not loads of weeds at the moment but it's good to keep on top of it because it's less hard work in the long run. Now it's time to plant these flower seedlings into slightly bigger pots. Oh my gosh. Those roots are crazy. I might have to repot them outside somewhere. Same as these guys. They've gone a bit crazy too. This is what we're left with. Unfortunately, I've had zero growth with the passion flower. I don't know if the soil's just maybe a bit wet. The last hollyhock hasn't come to anything. He died off. I'm just going to plant these two in the garden. I think it's time to replace some of the lost veg. So where some of the chilies were and less, I'm just going to put lettuce. So one of them I'm putting iceberg lettuce and the other I'm putting winter lettuce. So I've just made two furrows into the soil. Get my seeds. I'm just going to tap a whole of the seeds into the soil. My theory is, is that I can always thin out the seeds. But this way at least I'll have lots in there if lots get eaten. And then we'll just cover them over and water them in. And that's the iceberg lettuce. These three pots here, I planted a whole load of flower seeds in them. So these are the flowers I've planted 
in these three pots. Actually, that's a lie. I've only planted them in this pot. In this pot, we actually had some wildflower bombs. So our friend's wedding, they gave out favours and there were wildflowers. So that's what's planted in here. In these two, I've planted these four. So marigold, petunia, don't know how to pronounce that, but they're beautiful pink variety. And the labella. So we'll see how these guys get on. And in this one, I've planted some winter lettuce. And back here in this one, I've just planted some iceberg lettuce again. So that's how the grass is looking now it's been cut. I'm gonna give it a good water and encourage the grass to grow a little bit more. And that's how the garden's looking. Also repotted a few flowers into here. And I've moved my pumpkins into the middle one and repotted some flowers in here as well. So flowers will be here and here. Also had a few aphid problems on this rose. You can see them on there damned aphids. So I have treated that plant. It seems to be the only one that has aphids at the moment. I'm going to go finish watering the garden. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like, leave a little comment. Subscribing is optional, but it is very much appreciated, especially if you'd like to join my gardening journey and let me know how you're getting on with yours as well. So thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye!